like a uh, cover of this song it's a real badass old school bolero um, uh, grande grande from mariachi los calleros de pedro rey uh yeah man i used to listen to all these tracks back in the day when i was in high school and they're all bangers dude so i figured the first cover i did with this thing kind of taking it back to the old school with the super holy shit uh the light the holy grail of candela's guitars right here man. No, this was just a 
Hope you guys like this guitar. What do you guys think? The maple, classical. Look at that little set, man. It's just out of this world. This guitar is only a month old, too. Literally a month old. It was finished back in the uh, beginning of July. So, I'm going to be doing more songs, more tutorials, more how to mariachi guitar lesson videos. But uh, yeah, just want to do a quick cover of that. Um, I don't think I'm going to do a tutorial because it's a pretty simple song. Um, the music is out there on, on, on online and I'm just kind of playing it by ear. Um, but what is cool about this song is that it modulates by half step. Like every, like every, every, every other section is like a half step up. So it continues crescendoing all the way up even by key, right? Because you start in G. or G sharp which is cool for guitar because we can play a bar chord there right man this thing sounds great with bar chords Ooh. and then it goes from A flat direct modulation to A major It's all sexy with the money goes away. Badass trumpet solo. Right. E flat. E flat seven. Then takes it out with B flat. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, this guitar is loud. I don't even know how it's responding to the mic, but it's probably just like blasting the shit out of the mic right now. Um, so I have it a little bit far away. Uh, but yeah, play with a pick. Little pick. You can play without a pick. You can scroll your nails out, right? Right. Um, I like using this because it, I don't have to play as hard. And uh, I can have a little more control, but still have like a fuller sound. That's really all you're doing with a pig is you're just amplifying a little bit more than and working a little bit less to make more the same sound. All right, that's really the trick to using pigs versus just using your hand is to do this. I have to try a little more, right? But I can, I can do it here. It's a lot easier. Um, when you're playing a molero, if you're using a pick like this, right? Where is it? Focus, focus. Uh, it's focusing on my ugly face. I hold the pick kind of like that with the point out, right? The point out, just the tip, guys. Uh, but when you're playing a bolero outside and there's a singer, and you have a guitar um, that's pretty badass and you don't want to drown out the singer, play with the chubby end, <laughs> the chubby, the chubby end of the pick right here, this arched end. You can just turn it over around and you can get the same volume. Right. That's what I was doing for most of this is and just moving it around from the pointy end to the flat end because you have a little bit more volume. Right. Um, another thing for boleros is don't get in the habit of just playing these three strings here. I, you know, I see a lot of guys that these days all they they start from here like at the G string. That sucks, guys. Don't do that. Right. Play the get used to playing all six strings. like that don't grind
grind into your guitar, right? I see people do that, right? That's kind of bad, bad form because you end up getting a big old chunk of meat out of your top, right? So you want to play away from the top and hit all the strings. It's just practice. Um, it's really just where you start here and your posture and your position. If you're doing over here like this, um, it's kind of hard if you're all the way over like this and you got your 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 elbow all up against the guitar like that. It's kind of hard to do anything, right? So I try to take it a little bit back, right? You know, so you have a little bit of a pivot. So it's like right, right there on the forearm, right? And you can play a little bit easier like this. Right? You have more control, right? You can... And what ends up as a byproduct of having more control? You have power and then you have speed, right? And so you can get those as byproducts of just having good posture and good kind of better form with your guitar playing a little more free, right? I love how this thing sounds. Um, that's about it, guys. Hope you guys like this. We're going to do more cover videos, old school mariachi stuff, more, I'm gonna do a special video just for this guitar in my current guitar collection. Um, some more how-to mariachi guitar lesson videos. Um, you know, everybody's watching stuff online these days just because of the whole situation and I know a lot of kids are playing mariachi and their teachers are looking for more ways of teaching them stuff online. So I'm gonna be doing more videos and I don't wanna say that they're made for like, they're not made for younger people. They're just a little more family friendly because I tend to curse a lot when I'm talking on camera. I don't know why. I'm just kind of a foul mouth. But, uh, you know, I can appreciate if, like, I was a teacher at a high school and I had a bunch of 15, 16 year old kids running around and I start sending them links to YouTube. And then there's this guy who's just saying all kinds of, you know, F bombs all over the place. And then, some parent who's all uptight and prissy hears it and like, oh my god, he said the F word. Ugh. It's like, oh Jesus, you know, it's 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 not a big deal when you have, you know, a little bit of language, all right? I'm sure that you say worse things, but it'll, I'm going to try to clean it up and uh, be a little nicer, especially for like how-to stuff, because I do realize that people watch my videos for like supplemental like exercise, so I'm going to be redoing all my exercise lesson videos all my posture, how-to, manicos, and all that kind of stuff with this guitar and with a couple of other guitars I have. And uh, I'm going to a little bit. And if I do let an F-bomb slip, then I'll just bleep it out, right? I'll self-censor myself so that other people can, you know, get a little less stressed out about recommending my videos. Because I want to help. I want to... It, it, it has helped other people from what people have told me. So, you know, if it can help students, then that'll be great. So, yeah. Look out for that, and uh, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Later.